Well, some street vendors uh, selling fruits and snacks have become victims of armed robberies across South Phoenix. Police arresting one suspect seconds before police say he may have been ready to target another victim. As Team 12's Adriana Loya explains, these crimes are becoming common for these entrepreneurs. Well, guys, Valentin Gonzalez has been a street vendor for over five years. In that time, he says he's been robbed at gunpoint three times. It's a simple yet tough job. Being a street vendor in the streets of Phoenix. Enduring the burning temperatures, just one of the threats of the profession. Valentin Gonzalez robbed at gunpoint more than once. These crimes are very violent in nature. And this month, Phoenix police arresting 37-year-old Victor Chavez Nava, seconds before he possibly robbed a street vendor. Uh, the officers were able to quickly detain that person before he even had contact with this vendor, uh, which easily could have prevented another robbery from taking place. That would have been Chavez's fifth victim in just six days. We got him in custody. Officers taking him into custody near 29th Avenue and Van Buren on June 12, hours after a street vendor reported he had been robbed at gunpoint by the suspect. Chavez is a suspect of four armed robberies across South Phoenix. The first crime reported on June 7th near 3rd Street and Rosier Road. In all cases, victims reported the suspect pointed a handgun and demanded money. All of them saying he drove off with hundreds of dollars in cash in a white Jeep Cherokee with an obstructed license plate. Some of the crimes caught on camera. This person that we arrested for this one crime may be related to multiple crimes that we don't even know about. During a post-Miranda interview, court records say he identified his vehicle in surveillance photos but denied being involved in the crimes. Chavez allegedly had a handgun when he was arrested. He's now facing multiple armed robbery and aggravated assault charges. While Valentin hopes his fellow vendors get justice, he'll continue pursuing his honest career. And plans to expand his business. Adriana Loya, 12 News.